Congress Heights Main Street, first of all, gives us the identity to be a Main Street, that we are legit businesses and we're doing legit work. They've been behind the scenes fighting for businesses. We are home to about 98% African Americans in, in, in Washington, D.C. and Ward 8, and we're struggling. When other people what, forgot about selfies. Uh, when I moved here 25 years ago, uh, we were under-invested community. Nobody thought about Congress Heights as the rest of the city kind of bloomed. Um, the city talked about how many cranes were in the air in, across the river, and there were none here. This Main Streets has worked to be a catalyst for significant economic activity in and around our corridor. I think Congress Heights is authentically Washington. Congress Heights is sort of real people doing real things. Creatives have always been here. You know, I think that we are beginning to recognize and appreciate the impact that the arts and culture have in D.C. This building is the art center, the first art center that uh, came to Congress Heights. There's St. Elizabeth, which used to be the National Mental Hospital, was given to the city. It's about a 36-acre site and there's been about a billion dollars of investment there. Well, the Congress Heights Main Street has been an integral part in helping to garner community support for the redevelopment of the St. Elizabeth's Project. We have about a thousand units of new housing coming on, as well as new restaurants and entertainment, as well as the first hotel in Ward 8. And one of the major investments have been the entertainment and sports arena. As a board member, as an ANC commissioner, uh, community activists. That arena is my pride and joy. Ward 8 would be the only community in the country to house an NBA, a WNBA, a G League, and an NBA 2K team. Additionally, we've been able to recruit the University of the District of Columbia. We're excited that the University of the District of Columbia is going to open their community college, which is going in Old Congress High School, which is one of our major assets in the community. Uh, we have created a variety of programs to encourage people who have business ideas, start up, or people in existing businesses uh, to attract them to the corridor. Congress High serves as a facilitator of people, people who have business ideas, people who have goals of wanting to start their own businesses and people who want to learn. I'm the CEO of Black In Communications, which is a content development and marketing strategy firm. And I got my start right here in Congress Heights with the help of the Community Training Development Corps. So Congress Heights provided this boot camp. The purpose of this was to give us the opportunity to stand with confidence and pitch our businesses. So it gives us opportunities that we probably wouldn't normally have in terms of just bringing funds here, connecting us with different resources through the mayor's office. Great Streets was a great help in me remodeling my business and enabling me to compete with the new market that's coming here. You know, the whole team at Contact, they give you a good feeling, like they're there to support you. Actually helped me with a sign that I put on my building last year. And with Congress Heights, it's positive. If you want this or you want that, they're gonna make it their business to get it for you. The entire team here is great. So it's important for our community to have an approach that recognizes the current residents, but also accepts and opens our arms to our new residents that are coming in. So I think the biggest part about it is not necessarily figuring out what development is for who, but trying to figure out how the residents get to stay here and benefit from all the development that's coming. It's really about how we can help people along the process um, to make for a better community for everyone. It is extremely important that we have a clean team on the avenue to help keep our avenue clean. What we found over time is people appreciate those teams because it helps to make the streets look better and safer. They also serve as our ambassadors for the corridor. What I'm particularly proud of, a large degree of the guys are returning citizens to the community. Our contribution, you know, for the neighborhood, for the community around, to help is like to offer the jobs small business that hire from the community. The Congress Heights has been consistently involved in the community, hosting several events here on the MLK corridor and ensuring that businesses can participate, not just in selling products and goods and services, but becoming community partners. One, two, three, make it! So Southeast and the community that we're in, Congress Heights, is really the belly of where GoGo -Go got started, uh, but it is a gumbo of all genres of African-American music. And it's a great honor to be here, right here, the soul of the city, right here in Southeast DC. This is where I was born and raised.
people like getting together around food, art, and music. Although we are fairly new Main Street, we have mastered the concept of bringing the community together for a great art celebration. We joke about it now, how we utilize something that was just there for us, for the taking, but we didn't know how to use it. Now the Congress Heights Main Street, we have used it. The biggest part for us, which we love, is bringing Art All Night here in September, um, which is when we see the biggest crowds of the year. Um, so that's a great opportunity to really foster what our whole mission is about, bringing art to the hood, basically, and allowing people these different cultural and artistic experiences that they wouldn't otherwise have. It's not so much the credentials and the talent, but it's the character of the individuals that I've met here that has really had an impact for me. It feels like sometimes you can go to other parts of D.C. and kind of feel like you're on vacation. You know what I mean? As if you, you're not in this city. But when you get here, you're really in the soul of the city, the heart of the city. I've been in Congress Heights for 51 years. When my husband and I were looking for a home and a place to raise our children, we wanted a neighborhood. We wanted a community. We wanted to be able to walk around and meet our neighbors. And Congress Heights has all of that. It's like family. And it's a partnership around here. The community is it's one. We're doing always more and more to improve that. I am Congress Heights. 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 And I am the soul of the city. And I am the soul of the city. I am the soul of the city. I am the soul of the city. I am the soul of the city.